So let's come back to canva.com and we are going to create a new design using this button right here. Canva will then show me a bunch of different template options to choose from, all with different dimensions. I'll go ahead and find the Facebook cover template. And there it is. I'm going to click on that and Canva will create a new document with the Facebook cover dimensions. Now on the left side here, Canva will propose you a bunch of different design options. These are pre-designed Facebook covers that you can use as templates, which to me is really the reason why Canva is so powerful, because you can use any of these free templates to start your own design. So let's find one that we like. Let's say that we want to use this design. All you have to do is click on it and it will automatically open here on the right. Now you can start tweaking this design to make it to your taste. So let's discover the different tools that Canva has for us. By clicking around on this design, you will discover that it is made of different elements. This text is an element, this photo here in the background is an element, etc. What we will do now is to play around with these different elements to come up with a design that is appropriate for our Facebook page. The first thing I want to show you is how to change this photo here in the background. To do that, we have two options. We can either find a photo we like within Canva or upload our own photo. To find a photo in Canva, we can use the search box right here or go to the Elements tab and browse through the different categories of visuals. Let me show you what happens when you click on that Elements tab. You will see a bunch of different categories. The first one says Free Photos, so it's a good place to start. Canva also has a lot of other stuff like grids, frames, shapes, illustrations, icons, etc. I will let you explore these categories by yourself. The other option you have for changing that background photo is to upload your own image. Let's say you have a nice photo of your artisans you want to use to create your cover. Well, Canva lets you import it directly into its app. To do that, you'll have to click on Uploads here on the left. You can either use the green button that says Upload your own images or simply drag and drop an image into Canva from your computer. Once you do that, your image will upload and then appear here. You can now use it in your design. Just drag it to the right. You will observe that this photo has a filter applied to it. And this is because the template you're using came with a filter in it. If you wish to change this filter, you can select the visual and click on the Filter button here on the top of your screen. This will let you choose between different filters, but also adjust some settings with the sliders. You can see more photo options by clicking on Advanced Options. A very neat feature of Canva is that it lets you copy a filter code right here to later paste on another photo to apply exactly the same filter and color corrections. This is very convenient. I suggest you play around with these settings until you find something that you like. Let's look at some other options for your photos. The Crop button lets you reposition and resize your photo. The Flip button allows you to flip it horizontally or vertically. And the Spacing button allows you to leave some space around your photo to create a framing effect, for example. Let's now have a look of what you can do with the other elements on this design, like the text parts. If we click on this text in the middle here, we will see that what we are selecting is actually more than just one element. In this case, it is a group of elements. So we will start by ungrouping these elements by clicking this button here that says ungroup. Now we can click on each of these elements individually. Let's start with this first block of text here. If you select it, you will see a few options popping up here on top of the screen. The first option is to change the font. When you click on the font box here, Canva will open a drop down list with all the fonts that are available to you. On top of that list, you will see the document fonts. Now, this is a pretty cool feature and you should pay attention to it. The document fonts are fonts that have been deliberately chosen to work well together probably by a Canva designer. So I would suggest you consider working with these fonts and this font selection before you start changing everything. And as you go down this drop-down list, you will see that the font choice is actually pretty big. 
Next, you have the font size, which is also a drop down list. But you can double click on that number and insert whatever size you want. Next is the color box. Similarly to the font, Canva shows you the document colors. Please consider using these color palettes. You will also find here a bunch of color choices and this plus button right here opens a color wheel that lets you choose any color you want. If you know the exact hex code of the color you are looking for, you can insert it in this box. Otherwise, use the wheel to generate a color. For text, you have a few other options like bold, italic, etc. You can also play with the alignment of your text, the spacing between the letters and between the lines, and transparency. Canva also gives you the option to insert a link in a specific element, which could be very useful if you want to create interactive PDFs, for example. Hey, how are we doing, guys? I know this is already a lot of information for now and that this lesson is already pretty long, but we are almost there. And also, all these buttons will start to make much more sense when we start designing in the next section. So hang on there, almost done. The next thing I want to show you is the arrangement of these elements on your design. Canva lets you push elements forward or backward in your design. To do that, just select the element you wish to move and use the Arrange button, like this. This option is useful to play with the different layers in your design. You can also easily copy an element of your design. Let's say I want to reproduce this block of text here with all its characteristics. Well, simply select it and click on the copy button. That's it. Now all you have to do is export your design and it will be ready to use. 